We are back for our Guild of Guardians podcast number 10. Here we go. We're on double digits now. Number 10 with my beautiful partner here, WT. <laughs> Yo, my man, how are you? What is going on? We did miss last week because there wasn't a lot going on. Uh, so we did take the week off, but we're back. What's new and exciting? Uh, yo, talk to us. Actually, before you get to I just got to say your background it gets better and better every week. Look at those, uh, the Cadmus in the back. Those are phenomenal, man. I know you gave one away uh, last week, or the guy, you know, doesn't doesn't uh, claim it. I don't know what's going on. But uh, how you doing, buddy? Good, man. Good. Uh, glad to be back. Yeah, there wasn't a lot going on last week. So we took a little break to get a little more information, see what's going on. And uh, yeah, just busy with life. And yeah, that's Cadmus in the back. That one should have been in the mail to the winner but the winner has not even contacted me back yet and i looked through his twitter profile and i'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure it's a a, a twitter uh, just a mock account to try and win stuff mm -hmm. and i gave him a notice so we got a six more hours to go and if they don't respond to me i'm going to repull to see who wins it because i'd rather it be in someone's hands right. that actually appreciates it and instead of somebody that's just out there fishing for free stuff so right and, but, and especially uh, you know someone think... in the community right you know what i mean that's 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 absolutely important. yeah something that'll actually yep. appreciate it not just put it in a shelf somewhere hide it tuck it away in a box or something you know what i mean that thing's beautiful right. man that thing's beautiful so what's new and exciting man what's going on talk to me ah uh, boy i don't know a lot lot but not a lot going on <laughs> gog uh we got some stuff to recap today uh i think uh we got to give some shout out, uh, a big shout out to Tomahawk with his uh, Guild of Guardians challenge event. Yes, it, sir. It's done. It's over with. I got to participate in it. You got to participate in it. And I think it was a huge success. Yep. It was just one of those things that was a community builder and he pulled it off. Very organized person. I, I can't wait to do some events with him down the road. I 1000% agree. I talked with Tomahawk a lot up, uh, leading up to it. You know, we were the opening stream. Uh, my, my Twitch stream was the opening channel for the event. It was awesome. It was popping. I got to meet a lot of the Guild of Guardians community. Everyone kind of came in, did some giveaways, all that fun stuff. I got to say, you guys already know how much I love the Guild of Guardians community, the people involved. I've gotten very, very, very close with a lot of them. Uh, and uh, yeah, I want to say big shout out to Tomahawk. Toad, Toad's a beast too, man. Toad crushed it as well. Love me some Toad. Uh, but yeah, it was great. I, I, I think it was the biggest biggest and most and to be honest with you i think it was the biggest and most successful competition and not only that like you said it was a it was a community builder we all got to meet each other get to see each other compete with and against each other uh you know i i love the stream that we did it there's a lot of hype in it people came in got to get to know uh myself and a lot of other ambassadors and players uh and people in the community as well it kind of bonded us a little bit more and i, I really i really like that so tomahawk is uh and toad Great job, guys. I mean, uh, that this is only the beginning. I know they're going to be working on bigger, better things, more things, and this is just the first of many. And uh, you know what? We're in your corner, buddy. You already know. And uh, yeah, great, 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 great job. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, we need to do a little moment of silence here. Uh, man, I'm telling you, man. The Adventure Guild. Oh, my God, dude. An Adventure Guild token went from... Okay, so here's the thing. Some, you got Watch your zeros. Here's some advice to you guys. Watch your zeros when you put things up. Uh, somebody put up an adventure guild for 0 0.07 ETH uh, instead of 0.7 ETH. That's a big fumble. Big, big, big fumble. It, you, you hate to see it, but, you know, someone literally sniped it, lucked out, and, uh, dude, they're laughing. So, yeah, big, 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 big fumble. I don't know. Was that even minting price? I don't even know. I don't even no, know if that was minting. I, I don't. I don't. Dude, that's uh, low. It, it, if not... I think it was a little bit below. I think it was close, but I think it was a little bit Man. below. And I talked to some people in the community. I'm not going to give out any names, but I tell you what, there's people out there, and I got to learn how to do it. There's people out there with software, and they are able to set parameters to when an asset goes below a certain price, it automatically launches wow. and buys it up. So I was mad because I missed it by 30 minutes. Oh. And uh, I was like, oh, if I would have been on 30 minutes earlier, I could have got it. I probably wouldn't have because there's bots out there that are looking for this stuff. So if you fumble a zero, yeah, a bot's going to eat it up. And someone made huge, huge gains off that because it went from like, I don't know, I think it sold for like 200 something bucks and then it should have sold for almost two grand or something <laughs> like that. It, it just, 
Sickening. Oh <laughs> man, Sickening. that hurts. Like Rip. I, I feel for for whoever uh, fumbled that. You know, I feel for them. But it, you know, wallets. It happens. It happens a lot in this. You know, you, like don't rush. My best advice to anybody: do not rush when you're, especially when you're putting something up on the market. Take your time. Relax. If you don't have the time, if you're too, you know, uh, you know, scattered at the time, just just do it another time. Just do not rush this stuff uh, because that's a big fumble right there. What do you? Sure. Uh, what do you think about? Uh, GOG and even IMX putting it in something like a, a notification to people to like say, are you sure you want to do this? If it's under a certain percentage yeah. of what like the base market is or something like that, what do you what are your thoughts on doing yeah, something I, like I that? Think, I think that's very important. I know on the Wax blockchain they do that. Uh, if you put something up for way below the the like the the floor price, they're gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa check your price because you know uh, you're you're literally putting it up way under under value or under floor or whatever it is. And I, I think that's important because you know p people make mistakes. It's human error. And and like you say, people are gonna have bots that are just gonna you know eat that up and they're just gonna benefit from it. And you know right. this could be this could be the difference between someone being like you know totally getting turned off of the entire project, being like, oh you know screw this, I'm out, man. That, that really you know, piss me off kind of thing. I'm out of here. Right. So, you know, it's something as, as, as little as that can really change it. And, you know, come on, you don't want to see someone lose out like that. I know people are going to be happy they win, <laughs> but you don't want to see right. someone lose, man. You know what I, mean? I hate to see someone lose, yeah. you know, people can win it's without tough. somebody losing, you know, that's a tough one for me, but yeah, I do think they should have a warning. Um, because I mean, it, you know, come on, but I know people are gonna be like, no, no, we don't want to see that. Cause they want, you know, they want to grab it. And I understand both sides. I see it right. investors and I get it. I get it. Uh, but I do want to talk about the, uh, IMX $200 million investment. So we, we kind of actually before we get into this i want to just do another uh thank you for kalia and ryan uh they came on last time we did a podcast it was absolutely incredible if you didn't see it i highly recommend you watch it uh super informative uh man they are great both of them great speakers great speakers very knowledgeable what they do mm -hmm. um i have so much respect for them both and uh we kind of glazed over it a little bit but i want to talk about a little bit more uh the imx 200 million dollar investment and the odd timing of the royalty fees i want to talk about this stuff uh let's talk about the investment first 200 million dollars was uh pumped in in a the third round of seeding the series c as they call it and big names like temasek tencent and yep. mocha brands and several others put their money into this company and for the year imx raised roughly i want to say almost 300 uh, million dollars in funding from major companies throughout the year uh, that's what got me into them at the very beginning of the year of 2021. Coinbase, uh, Coinbase Ventures put some money into them, and that's why I started looking at IMX because Coinbase was putting money in them. So, uh, yeah, big money coming in. Uh, another little side note: uh, Tencent, who put money into them, one of their employees, G. Justin Hulong, mm -hmm. just a couple days before they put that money in publicly came over to IMX. So you can see that kind of connection there. And it's kind of interesting to see they, they had have been talking before this and move that guy over there. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if they moved him over there purposely to watch their investment. I was kind of thinking about that. Like, oh, that's kind of that's kind of savvy on them if they did that. Maybe they did it. I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of makes me think of old school Monte. And it's like, yeah, we're going to do some stuff with you, but we want our guy to be over there. Yeah, know, right, right. My conspiracy <laughs> head, you know. But uh, yeah, that all came out. Everybody was super pumped up about it. And then a couple days later, royalty fees. And it came out as 5%. Uh, Discord got a little heated. Right. And then a couple days later, they went from 5 to 7%, which had me scratching my head. We knew the fees were coming. Yep. We knew it. Uh, Robbie Ferguson had said it in AMAs back in December. I heard it. I knew it was coming. I didn't know when. It was great trading for no fees, but companies got to make money. If the company's not making money, it's not good for everybody overall. Right. They can't get too greedy, but they got to make money. So we knew it was coming, but the timing was really bad optically in my opinion and it got a lot of people upset right i agree and, and we knew it was coming but i feel like there was no warning you, you know you'd almost feel like there would be a little bit of a warning kind of you know i don't i, I don't know kind of a whatever about that but i agree i think i think the uh, the timing's a little bit weird uh they had this 200 million uh dollar investment then yeah it was like a couple days later and then it went from five to seven i think that yeah i don't know i don't know about that and it's like even now if you want to look at the um what is it like a mythic guild you know if 5% on that is a lot. 5% on that yeah. is a lot. 5% on, on a legendary now is a lot. 
or seven percent even you know that that's it adds a lot so um yeah i don't know man i know, I know that like you say we talk about this all the time they got to make money companies have to make money if they don't make money there's no company and then we lose like everybody loses right the company has to make money or they lose and if they lose we lose it's just the nature of the beast um yeah very interesting on that very interesting on that no warning all right you uh you mentioned about the Mythic Guild. It, it literally went from 900 ETH for that one Mythic Guild, and that's a lot. I get that's it. A lot. The difference of that tax on there now, it went from 900 ETH to 954 ETH. So, quite a big chunk of money. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Boy, it, it was. I, I agree with you on it would have been nice to get a heads up. Maybe they legally couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it was just bad timing. Like like uh, you said, and I said, we knew it was coming. Yeah. We just didn't know when. Right. And, uh, you know, Ryan uh, Ryan did a fantastic job. He he jumped on it immediately. He seen the community's reaction. He was all over it. He even had a little quick uh, Discord chat with everybody to explain things. And did, were you able to catch that at all? I was there for a bit of it. Yes, I was. Yeah. Okay. So he, he basically said the three things that they had out of it right away was there was a communication error between IMX and GOG. So this, yep. this wasn't the GOG guy's fault. It was just a mix up of communications of them not getting it uh, in, a, in a reasonable amount of time to kind of brace us for the impact, so to speak. So that was the big thing is communication. The second thing is they wanted to roll it back to try and take some sting off, but they couldn't do it because it could possibly mess up uh, pre-existing sell orders and that could create all kinds of havoc and they did not want to start make a problem even worse and then the third thing was they uh they're going to do a complete review of the whole entire thing to see the, the the community reaction to it uh why it happened and what they can do going forward to improve that situation if and if it ever happens again so they were given a basket of lemons and they're trying to make the best lemonade that they right. can out of it it's an unfortunate situation, but it's not the end of the world. Right, right. And, and another thing too, I gotta say, it's like, it's really, so here's the thing. IMX is is the parent, right? And then you have GOG. So the thing is, is basically IMX, you know, they are, they control things. They are, you know, as much as GOG is great and everything, they got to go and, you know, almost, I don't want to say get permission, but kind of, you know, they got to work together, but IMX has the final say. If IMX says you got to do this, that's the way it is. Um but yeah, I, I I agree. I think Ryan did a fantastic. I think honestly, I think the the our the GOG community, the team are very very fortunate and lucky to have Ryan. Um, I I think the guy is absolutely phenomenal. Such a smart smart man. Um, I, you know, and he takes the brunt of it, right? He's the one that's got to answer. You know, when people get upset, he's the one that's got to deal with it. I think he does an amazing job. I think he does a fantastic job, and uh, I think we're very very lucky to have him. Yeah, you know, if, of course, and he has to go in, and especially when when the emotions are high and people are like, yo, now there's these fees. He's got to be the one to go in when the emotions are high, and he's got to deal with people. And I think that's a tough job. And if anybody's ever worked in, you know, uh, the industry where you got to deal with people. It's not easy, especially when people's emotions are, are involved in it. And he does a great job. I think I think he needs uh, I think he gets a lot of credit and I think he deserves the credit. And I think he needs more, you know, to be honest. I agree. Yeah, I he's agree. great. Uh okay, so um the snapshot. Let's talk about so here's the thing. We didn't even really talk about alpha, and alpha's been this thing. It went alpha, went alpha, went alpha. We've been looking for this. <laughs> we went alpha. Guys, we have alpha around the corner. And uh and you know, we're just like, yeah, alpha, cool. Okay, so here's the thing. So the snapshot from February 17th um, is, a, is for guaranteed access. So if you were holding, you have guaranteed access, correct? Uh, and there's a pool of 50,000 GOG tokens, which is awesome uh, for those people specifically. So if you were a holder, whatever, 50,000 uh, 50, GOG tokens, there's a pool for us. I say us because I'm a holder as well. So anybody that was holding, there's a pool for that. But there is also... A two hound, so it's it's fifty thousand within the two hundred thousand, right? So it's a hundred and fifty thousand right. for okay. So there's fifty thousand tokens for the holders uh, that we're gonna be able to kind of earn as we play. Then there's a hundred and fifty thousand tokens that the holders are still able to get into, and for everybody else as well. So if you're not a holder, right. if you signed up, you can get in that too. So basically, the holders get to double dip, you know, a little bit, uh, which is amazing. Again, uh, the way that the way this stuff is ran, I love the way that the, the team is deciding this stuff. That is huge. We get to play. So put it this way. We get to play the game. We get to play the game. And there's like, yo, here's some tokens to play it too. I would have done it for just say, if they said, yo, you, you get alpha, play the alpha. 100% I'd play the alpha. The fact that they're like, here's some tokens along the way. They don't have mm -hmm. to do that. 
And I love that. I love this team uh, so much. And and that's amazing. So there's 200,000 tokens that's going to be distributed to, amongst all the all the uh, testers or uh, players, I guess you want to call them. 50,000 specifically for the holders. And, and apparently, now we could be reading this wrong. There's going to be a special thing for the the uh, holders only to be announced. Is that a thing, or are we kind of reading into this kind of in the wrong way? No, I think so. It's it's in their announcements. Uh, the uh, oh, where's it? At? I lost it now. Oh, holders only benefits. So, and they said they would announce it further down the road of what that's going to be. So amazing. Like you said, two hundred thousand tokens. 50,000 of it is reserved specifically for the the holders. There's roughly 10,000 unique wallets around there. So mm -hmm. I was surprised how many people they're going to let in alpha right away. That's good. They really want to test this thing. And so they'll get access to uh, potentially that pool of 50,000. And then in addition to that, they also get the double dip, like you said, it into the 150,000 pool, which is for everybody. And they had some uh, late registrations still available. It was for a few days if you didn't do it, and hopefully uh, some people tried to get in. And man, when we get into this, pay attention to anything that looks wrong. If yeah. you think it looks wrong, write it down. Have a pencil and paper for us older guys or your tablet to type on. To take notes. If you see <laughs> something wrong, right document it and let them know. Yes, I got mine too. I got like a whole- <laughs> We're old, over. man, you and me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that's our time to really help them find things that are wrong and get that feedback to them because this is our product this is our investment let's let's have fun with it but take our notes you know yeah exactly i mean exactly have fun with it learn the game but also let's make sure that we get a good product and let's find those bugs and let's you know let's uh Write them down, like you said. Write them down. Let them know, because uh, you don't want a mm -hmm. broken game to come out, and you know we want it. We want it to work well. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for the alpha. I hope we can stream it. I don't know if we can or not. I mean, you know, usually, yeah, we're, usually yeah, you we're don't. Still waiting to find out. Yeah, we're but waiting to, to find out. out of it, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you guys right now. I'll say it straight up. If I can stream this, I will be streaming this every single day for the entire testing. We can talk. Another way for people to get to know the community. Come in. We can all chat, watch some gameplay. We can discuss together. Uh, things like that. I'm definitely. If this is streamable, I will do it. Normally, you can't because it's it's beta testing and they don't want that stuff out there because there's going to be bugs, there's going to be problems. But if they allow it, we're doing it. Um, uh, yeah, Alpha, man. We've been everyone. When Alpha, when Alpha, when Alpha, this is it. We're here, we're there. When do we think it's coming out? What is there any like timeline? Any what do we think? It's like may, I'm guessing sometime in April, maybe April. I hope so. I hope so because I'm going to be busy towards the end of March. So I hope it is in April. They originally said March. Uh, Nick Kellen said that. I don't know if that was a slip or not, or maybe they were a little ahead of, or behind schedule. But I would imagine sometime, I would think sometime in the next month, we got to be seeing it here soon. I would think. I'm hoping. What's your see, thoughts on that? See, you and me are both because you're going. You're going away in uh, in March. Yeah, I'm gonna be busy uh, hanging out with the family at the end of March. So I'll have my phone with, and I will have to uh, tell my wife I got to go put some gas in the car or something, or <laughs> yeah, yeah. The brakes or something. Right, right, right. So I don't get. I'm gonna go vacuum the lawn. I'm gonna go vacuum yeah. the lawn or something. You know. <laughs> I uh, so I go away. I'm going away uh, to uh, I bring in the kids and stuff to Great Wolf Lodge. It's a place, and, and I'm going in April. So uh, I, you know we're we're at two different spots. So it's like man, I, I you know same, I got to go vacuum the lawn. I'll be right back. You know what I mean, kind of thing. So uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I'm super excited. We've been waiting. A lot of us have been waiting for this for a very 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 long time. I can't wait to get this game in my hands and just kind of go through it, tear it apart. Um, mm -hmm. It's gonna be a blast. Now obviously it's gonna be solo single player right away. Um, but yeah, like you say, they're going to put in about 10,000 people. So to me, it's like they really have, and, and honestly, the more things I see out there, the more I real, and I've always realized that Guild of Guardians is a top tier, A plus, top notch game product. Like there's no doubt in my mind that this is, this is going to be big. This is going to be big. Mm -hmm. Um, but when they put in like 10,000 people like that, you know, they're, they want to, they want to kind of flood the servers. They want to kind of test it, maybe test its limits to now see how things go at 10,000 people. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, man, I'm telling I will not sleep for that. I don't know how long it's the, the it's going to be on. I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to be sitting there in the corner, you know, shaking and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I can't wait. I'm super, super excited. So that's, so, uh, uh special shout out to, uh, the team as I, from my understanding, Kalia, had a big 
part in this. Uh, the whole team did, but for whatever reason, I was told that she really spearheaded a lot of things that people don't even realize. So a uh, special shout out to her. We just had her on recently. Yes. Again, if you haven't watched that, we had Ryan and Kalia on last week or last podcast. I'll put the link in the in the description. Check it out. They're phenomenal. Absolutely great. It was their first time ever coming on a podcast, so big shout out to that as well. Thank you for coming on and, and doing that. Uh, we appreciate you. You already know. Uh, all right, so that's about for the, the alpha. That's good for the alpha. Uh, the, the extended registration. Okay, so they also that now. So here's the other thing again, like we were talking about with IMX being the parent. So they now they're giving away the December Chinese New Year, the December giveaway, Chinese New Year giveaway, and Valentine's Day giveaway uh, for the contest. They got paid out. Again, that's uh -huh. what we're talking about with IMX. They kind of control that side. Okay, so people have been waiting since December for, for some of their prizes or whatever, but they got to get the go-ahead. There's a system they got to go through, and now they finally, I guess, got the green light. I don't know how to call it, but uh, so those are getting paid out right now. We still, there is the... Um, the uh, the Gilded Guardian sandbox one from Tom Hawk that we talked about that still hasn't been resolved yet, but you know it's coming. So just you know, just be a little patient. Uh, but yeah, those got paid out, uh, and they're starting to get the funds unlocked for IMX. Let's talk about it. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, Ryan did bring up the sandbox uh, giveaway for if you had this right characters uh, during the founder sale, and I from talking with Ryan, he has been on very focused with with getting these payouts so in a very short amount of time since he's been here in january he's gotten those payouts and people might think it's not that big of a deal but it is because they don't control all that it's big daddy imx and there's procedures involved and at the company i work for in real life there's all kinds of procedures and things you have to go through to get things done in the same exact fashion so that's kind of bullish that IMX is running their company like a like a big corporation that kind of gives me the confidence like they're not messing around they're making sure everything is done right and legit and the treasury is protected so kudos to Ryan it's a great first step and I know he's very very passionate about getting everybody's uh due rewards to them in, in a very short amount of time here so I'm excited about that Yep. Same page, same page. And that's the thing. And that's how there is a, there is a system and they're following the system and, and it's the way it is again, like you said, big daddy IMX, they got to go and, uh, and say, Hey, come on. It's allowance week or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Come on, come on. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that was, that, that's great. So yeah, so those are getting paid out. Uh, the sandbox one's not paid out yet, which again, we talked about earlier. It's a phenomenal event. I, I can't wait for Tomahawk to the next one. Tomahawk, uh, I know we talk, Tomahawk and I talk all the time, but, uh, I'm here if you need anything. And I know WT is as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the G let's talk about the assets a little bit. Let's talk about the assets a little bit. We got, we got to talk about the assets a little bit. So, um, you know, there was a lot of hype before, and then there was the, the delay things happened, things dipped. There's been a little bit of a lull. Um, you know, it looks, it looks like the assets have bottomed, right? It looks like they bottomed. Uh, but now it seems to be some, now there's some positive signs that things are going to start moving again. Let's talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Prices of, uh, man, it's been about three and a half, four weeks now. They've stayed about the same mm -hmm. for rares, epics, and legendaries. The ones that have dipped and kind of been shaky are the chromas in my opinion. Those have seemed to kind of been slowly trickling down still. Mm -hmm. uh, on the positive side, I have seen the pets uh, recently kind of rebounding, especially Cadmus. Cadmus, and it cracks me up. Nobody knows what is going to be the meta or what's going to be the good one to have or whatever. But Cadmus just keeps holding his value. He must be pretty, so that's why people <laughs> keep him up. Him and Onyx. Him and Onyx. Makes no yeah. sense, but they, they always stay higher. Yeah. And Cadmus recently is up to like point. 8.5 or 0.87. He was down to, oh, I think as low as the point high 0.5s, maybe low 0.6, but now it's back up to 0 0.85, 0 0.87. And uh, Luce, Luce and uh, Celine, they came up for a little bit and they trickled back down, but they're they're at like that low 0.5 range while Cadmus is hanging out by himself being 0.85 and even some of the other pets have come up a little bit, so there's been some positive signs with that. And I want to say there was uh a... oh, there was a hero. There was a hero that was holding pretty good value. Maybe it was Strider. Maybe it was Strider. But in general, yeah, last three, four weeks, they've really been holding this line right here and haven't gone down. And the volume has been pretty terrible, except yeah. for a couple days here and there. It's weird. Like, we'll have a couple days where it's like 30 grand. I'm like, oh, hey, here we go. And then... 
and then it's below 10 grand. So volume is way down, yeah. but the prices are staying the same. And there's this cool little metric on that uh, Snoopy tools where it shows like people that are not listing and it's well above 90% of people that are not listing. So it's got a little cool little diamond hand symbol. I, I didn't, cool. I just found out about this morning. So I was like, man, I guess they're watching that. It's pretty cool. Cool. I gotta, I gotta, you gotta send me, that. I gotta check that out. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So I think again, we, we've talked about this before where it's like, there's we're in that period right now where nothing's really happening i mean alpha's coming so yes of course uh but once the game comes closer i think that's when people they start there's gonna be a lot more hype around it and people are gonna start focusing on it there's gonna be a lot more talk about it and that's when people are gonna start buying in and so yes the the the, the prices are, are down they're low but you know what give it a few months or whatever it is and and, and this is gonna we're gonna be looking back on man i wish i bought it and i've done this it's happened to me before and uh, to me, this is it's it's like a it's like a sale. It's like I said, I've I've actually uh -huh. even uh, thickened out my team a little bit, and and uh, you know now I don't have only five heroes anymore. You know what I mean? I have a couple teams now, and I have you know like this is the time for me. Not financial advice. This is the time for me right. where I'm saying. I'm buying in. I mean, it, it, it can't go any lower. This is this is the time to get in. So if you're looking at getting in, or if you were looking at getting in and saying, you know, man, it, the prices went up because everything was going up, and you're like, you know, now I'm, this is the time to look at the at the at the market. If you if you want to buy in, mm -hmm. this is literally the time. Uh, let's talk about the Church of Morax. Church of Morax is back in the Discord, the channel. Um, kind of disappeared for a little bit. It's back. Um, are you part of the Church of Morax? What do you what do you, what do you talk to me? Nope. No, 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 nope. no. Nope. They, uh, I'm probably their number one enemy. Uh, <laughs> Empire, I just do it. I, it's, it's just, it's just for fun, but I like kicking Morex around. Like he's a orange nerf ball, football, something, <laughs> regular ball, whatever. Yeah. Kick him around. Cause that's what he looks like. Yeah. I just, I just do it for fun just to mess with them. Someone's gotta be the villain of course. I'll do the job. But, uh, yeah, they were, they were here for a while. Uh, car, man, everyone has pro pronoun uh, trouble pronounce his name. I know. Carcix. Carcass? I don't, I think it's Carcass, but that, he's in charge of it. He's an ambassador, and it went away for a little while. And I think uh, there was some mentioning like, "Hey, be a great time to bring it back. Maybe boost some morale. You know, get rid of some of the negative vibes." And there's a lot of people that like it. They go in there and they pretty much promote Morax all day long. And I pop in once a day and say, "Hail or hello, cultists. How you doing?" So that's what's going on with that. That's the this is the nicest villain you'll ever see. <laughs> This is look at that face. Look at that. That's the nicest villain you'll ever see. Look at that smile. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I have the same problem. Like I know everybody in the community, but I don't know how to pronounce their names. So I always feel bad when I have to say it out loud. Like when I read it to myself in my head, I'm like, whatever, you know. But once I have to say it out loud, I'm like, how do you actually pronounce that? You know? Uh, but yeah, so so the Church of Morax is back. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing, you know. So right. Uh, but yeah, yeah, dude. I, listen, um, we here's the thing. So. When uh, Alpha comes out, should we do so? Should we do like a little competition between us, or should we do like a competition out there to send it out there? Should we do Ooh. something? Should we do something for the? How, how will we? How will we compete? I mean, yeah, I'm up for it, but what do we do? Well, here's the thing. So here's the thing. We can't. We don't understand how it's gonna play. I was gonna say maybe we could do like a fastest time in a dungeon, or most kills. Or, I don't know. How would we? Maybe we gotta figure. Maybe before we get ahead, because I just came up this on top of my head. WT has no idea what I was just saying. He's like, "What? Whoa, 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 I wasn't chill. expecting this." He's like, "Chill, man. Whoa, what are you talking about, man? What do you mean? What do you mean? Whoa, 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 competition. <laughs> Let's figure out. Let's figure out first what the what the levels are like. Maybe we could do a little friendly competition or something, or maybe yeah. we could do uh, something for the community. Fastest time in a dungeon or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe we find the most bugs or something. Yeah, we'll I'm figure up it. for that. I'm up yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Did uh did you get a chance to see the leaks at all recently? Oh, I can't believe we didn't bring this up. Oh my, man, pretty impressive, man. Blew my mind. I can't believe we didn't bring this up. I can't believe we didn't bring what this up. What was your favorite part? Uh, all of it. The spite, the bridge fight, the spider. The every where where do I start? The big spider. The the I don't know where do I start. Yeah. The the four heroes. Now I don't know if those yeah. are placement heroes or those are future heroes. But yo, they look sick, man. The guy with the sword. You know me. I'm a sword guy. Big sword. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw that. I was like, give him to me. I need him. I don't know what it is. I need him. Uh, I'm amped, man. Tell me about it. What do you think about it, man? I I loved uh, it. I loved I it. I think, the, the man, there were spiders everywhere. There's yeah. Like the spider dungeon or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that big spider you're talking about, that, yeah. that looked like a boss because it was taking a lot of hits. And I noticed like as it was hitting people and damaging them, it did like a knockback move. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of cool things in there that like, it got me really pumped up. It's like, wow, it's not just going to be a basic monster that you go in and like just hit it and right. maybe it damage you. The, the knockback thing, I was like, oh, 
So there's going to be some like adversity and you're going to need strategy of how to do things in there. And I absolutely love that. So that was like my favorite part. And then, uh, uh, of course the, the four characters, I'm assuming those are commons, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. Maybe they are some other new heroes coming out. It, it's to, to be seen, to be determined. Right. And the other thing that I absolutely love the UI, the amount oh. of, time and effort they put into that and i i love those small details because if they put that time and effort into that right. it kind of gives you that confidence that they're they're they really care and they're going to put the time and effort into the whole entire thing not just one portion 100 percent. it's the little things that they always say the little things that matter and, and like you said you put the, those details in the if you put that effort in the little details you know the, the in the bigger picture everything they have that detail everywhere uh because it's little things that people usually miss but you know there's people that look for it and and absolutely yeah the the ui was phenomenal the music was phenomenal the the boss or you know mobsters monsters whatever it was are phenomenal those four characters i mean there was nothing not to like uh about it and yeah you're right there's a knockback you see the big spider web it's probably like a snare or like a root or something where you know it slows you down or it keeps you stuck in this in spot or whatever it is there's gonna be so many factors and once i saw the those leaks and they've been they've been tossing them out like they're they're not messing around man they're oh, really yeah. uh really active with it and uh man i, I can't wait like I, I couldn't you know i i'm kind of i'm glad i saw it but i was like you can't do this to me like how am i supposed to contain myself now until you know we, we get out there so so uh thank you and uh you know you know i'm, I'm upset and i'm happy because now, now how am i supposed to contain myself man i see this i want to play it now you know but uh, no, it was great. It, uh, absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, so we again, we don't know what the alpha, if it's going to be like, you know, one dungeon, five dungeons, 10 dungeons, one boss you fight. Like I remember when like uh, Diablo 3 came out, you could do like basically the first act. So you go and you fight up to the first boss, you beat the first boss and then you reset. You know what I mean? So we don't know how far we can go. Maybe it'll be like the first dungeon, couple dungeons or whatever. Uh, first act, I don't know what it is. First chapter, whatever they're going to do. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Because obviously they don't want people to go in, crush the game and... And, uh, and be like, now what? You know what I mean? Because they did talk earlier about dungeons. They want to be like two minutes long, which I think is a little short. Uh, but they also don't want people to be on their phones for, you know, six hours a day grinding it out. So, you know, they have that uh, that spot. So, yeah, it's been interesting to see um, what they do with that. And again, those heroes, maybe those are the starter heroes. Maybe those are the non-NFT heroes that you're going to start with and then, you know, move up from there. Yeah, either way, they looked absolutely amazing. And uh, I, I want them. I want them. <laughs> i want him yeah um yeah is there anything else you want to bring up uh wt or are we good for the week or what's going on talk to me we might uh i'm like 75 percent sure we might have a special guest next week mm -hmm. and uh do we want to apologize for uh still not getting a name yet <laughs> Yes. Oh man. I know. Listen, we're working on it. Listen, we're, we are working on it. I promise you. We talk about it almost every day. Cause here's the thing. We want to make sure the name is right. Once you make a name, it's there. It's solid. It's locked in. We can't be changing our name every week. So we're trying to lock something in that we can use and move forward with it. You know, start branding around and get our logo, whatever. You know what I mean? We're going to start, you know, but, um, <laughs> we don't have, we, it's been we, hard. This is hard. Been really, really like, I thought we had it this week. I really thought we had it. And that's why I said it'll be out this week, but I was wrong. I apologize. That's my bad. Uh, we just, we've gone back and forth so much. Like I literally am Googling things to try and get some inspiration right now. That's where I'm at. Cause I just like, I'm so, I'm like very, I don't know. I don't know if I'm scared or what of like picking a bad name. I can't. I'm I'm in the same boat. Because once you once you name it, it's it. It's done. It's locked. You can't be changed. You can't every week change the name. You know what I mean? It's like this is it. We're going that way with it. I feel like I understand what writer's block is now. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> tough because once it's it, once it's there, it's there. Uh, but yes, we do. We possibly have a very, 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 very uh, important guest uh, again next week. Uh, super excited for that. Hopefully, it goes through. And uh, there's going to be many, many, many more in the future as well. I I, uh, I want to say, first, before anything, I want to say thank you, everybody that always tunes into this. I know a, a bunch of people in the community really look forward to this, and we really look forward to talking about it and getting to know the community. We love uh, the Guild of Guardians community, and, uh, and, and like I say, we've talked about it many times. I, we can't wait to get to know everybody. We want to know everybody. We want you to come in, say what's up in the chat, say what's up to us, DM us. Don't be afraid. If you're an ambassador and you, and you, you don't know what to, if you, if you want to, to get more involved and you don't know what to do, Hit us up. We, we, we literally would love to talk to everybody. So my DMs are open. Message me anytime. I know WT is as well. You can post uh, the comments in the channel here, in the, in the, on the video, whatever you want. Just uh, reach out to us. Don't be shy, man. We'd love to talk to everybody. We'd love to get to know everybody uh, for sure. So um, WT, want to close it up? 
Yeah. All right. I think uh, I think it's time for a good old let's go. All right, guys. Thank you again for listening. I, I tell you, uh, uh, we have a ball doing this. We love you. We're going to be keeping these up every single week. And uh, again, I'm looking forward to next week. Hopefully, it goes through. And and we're even. We're working on not just next week's, the weeks after, the week after. We have things lined up, but uh, you know, it's just uh, we're trying to get it all sorted out. All right. I love you guys. I'm out of here, you bunch of beauties. We'll talk to you next week. Peace.